Welcome back to our channel today. We're diving into Martinsburg, West Virginia. Is it the hidden gem many think it is? There's a lot of debate about Martinsburg given that it's known as one of the fastest growing cities in the state. It's known as the gateway to the Shenandoah Valley, yet at the same time, one news source described it as one of the worst cities to live in in America, oh which sounds like some clickbait to me, right? A little bit, that's quite a varied reputation. Martinsburg is a large city with several distinct parts, including rural areas, suburbs, and a bustling city center complete with a historic main street. If you're curious to learn more about Martinsburg and see if it's worth exploring for your next home, sit tight. We're going to break down some of the myths that are commonly associated with Martinsburg, compare them to actual data, and give you a sense of what life is really like in this growing city. If after watching this video, you're ready to go out and explore the area, Send us a message and we'd be happy to share our Martinsburg Visitor Guide with you. Let's start with the geography. Nestled in Berkeley County, Martinsburg is broken in half by Interstate 81, giving easy access to Maryland and Virginia. As you'd expect, much of the development and new construction is centered around the I-81 corridor. You'll find plentiful shopping and dining options here from chains to the quaint downtown. We recently went to a bubble tea and poke bowl restaurant in downtown that was pretty amazing. So good. Martinsburg is composed of four separate zip codes, four different options for the kinds of neighborhoods you find. You have the city center with more of an urban feel and moderately priced homes. And to the west, you'll find the more rural section with larger lots. Then there are subdivisions and the remaining two zip codes. If you love being near the water, you're gonna to wanna to focus on the 25404 as you have river access on the top border of the city here. Most people think of Martinsburg as just the city in the center, but there is a lot more to Martinsburg than just the downtown area. Speaking of downtown, there's a lot of buzz about a restoration project with some historic buildings that have sat vacant for too long the Perfection Garment and the Interwoven Mills factories. The finished product is expected to add 5,000 square feet of commercial space and over 380 market rate residential units. That's an exciting future change for the city. Definitely. Now to tackle our first myth, Martinsburg lacks diversity. It's often said that Martinsburg lacks cultural diversity, but let's set the record straight. Many refer to West Virginia statistics as a whole when looking at Martinsburg. The state has above a 92% white population based on the 2020 census. Digging into just Martinsburg, its majority white non-Hispanic population is just over 73%. And this is actually a lot closer to the national average than you might think. Nationally, in the 2020 census, the white non-Hispanic population consisted of about 61% of the country's population. The same census found the population of the city comprised of over 14% Black or African American non-Hispanic, about 5% multiracial non-Hispanic, and over 2% white Hispanic. And lastly, nearly 2% of Asian non-Hispanic populations. Of course, it's been a few years since these numbers were recorded, and there may be people who have moved from the area since 2020 or didn't participate in the census. Now on to the next myth, healthcare is subpar. Many worry about healthcare options when they're relocating, especially when downsizing. So we wanted to help you understand how Martinsburg compares to the West Virginia data you're likely to see when researching. West Virginia is a large mountainous state and there are areas where access to healthcare is a big concern. However, in Martinsburg, the Berkeley Medical Center is considered one of the top hospitals in the state, ranking high for treatments in strokes, heart failure, and COPD. If you need more specialized care, Baltimore, Virginia, and Washington DC's top hospitals are just a road trip away. Proximity to a hospital is very important to some. So if you need a home search created with a certain distance to a nearby hospital, we can help with that. If you're concerned about job opportunities moving to Martinsburg, we've got some good news. While many sources warn of limited job opportunities overall in West Virginia, Martinsburg is sitting pretty with an unemployment rate of 2.9% in 2023, compared to the national average of around 4%. Some larger employers have come to the area in the last decade, including Quad, Macy's Fulfillment Center, and a Procter & Gamble factory. While you might assume that a lot of workers are commuting for hours every day, less than 9% of the population were classified as super commuters, which is those that drive more than 90 minutes a day. In 2021, it was found that the average commute in the area was just 28 minutes. Oh, that's not bad. No. <laughs> We've been working with clients who are considering commuting on the MARC train into DC in order to afford a larger home for extended family. This sounds great in theory. We wanted to shed some light on the logistics of a train commute from Martinsburg. The MARC train will take you all the way to Union Station in DC. 
As of this filming date in December 2023, the trains leave at 5, 5.25 and 6.25 a.m. and take over two hours to get to the end of the line in Union Station. There are other stops along the way, so take a look at the route to determine how long your ride would be. Definitely not advisable for someone who needs to be in the office five days a week. Yeah. I mean, your choice, but <laughs> thankfully there are a number of job opportunities keeping people in or close to Martinsburg. Or if you're someone who doesn't mind a train ride, this could work for a day or so a week, I would think. One big thing Martinsburg is known for is growth. With those new employers that came in the last decade came new people. Yeah, between 2010 and 2020 censuses, the population increased almost 9% from about 17,000 to nearly 19,000. Recall that there are a number of different neighborhoods in the area as well. While the area is growing, there are still rural areas and homes near the river where you can escape the hustle and bustle. If you want to have a home in the 300,000s, but close to a lot of amenities, this might be a great place for you. You truly get a lot more home for your dollar here, but you're still not that far from Baltimore or DC. With your dollar stretching further in Martinsburg, long-term financial goals are more attainable. Lastly, we wanted to say a word about some crucial factors for many in their home searches school options, and crime data. To generalize about these topics would be unfair, especially given how large Martinsburg is and how many different distinct neighborhoods there are. We love nothing more than to roll up our sleeves and help you find the best information out there. So if you'd like recommended resources based on the specific area you're looking into, reach out and we can help. So Kristen, what's our verdict on Martinsburg? A growing labor force, growing population, lower commute times. It's sounding pretty good to me. Especially those homes by the river, that's where I'd be. Just need my canoe and my guitar. <laughs> if you've lived in Martinsburg or have visited the area and have anything to share that we haven't covered, let us know in the comments. Yeah, we love hearing from our listeners. Keep those West Virginia questions and comments coming. See you next time.